Lesson 4, Multiplying and Dividing Integers Demo. Take a look at the statement in Part 1. Multiplying and dividing integers is much easier than adding and subtracting integers. Now look at the number line and chart. Here we have our number line with both positive and negative numbers. And these are the problems that we'll work on during the demo. Be sure to write the answers as we complete the demo. Here's box A. Here is 3 times 4. And as you can see, it's pronounced 3 times 4. So go 4 spaces 3 times. We'll start at 0 times. And notice that the kangaroo is facing the positive direction because 4 is positive. So let's go 4 spaces 1 time, 4 spaces 2 times, 4 spaces 3 times. Here's 4 spaces 1 time, 4 spaces 2 times, and 4 spaces 3 times. 3 times 4 equals 12. Write it down. Box B. Here we have 3 times negative 4, which is pronounced 3 times negative 4. So go negative 4 spaces 3 times. We'll start at 0 times. And notice that we're facing the negative direction because we have negative 4. So let's jump negative 4 spaces 1 time, negative 4 spaces 2 times, negative 4 spaces 3 times. Here's negative 4 spaces 1 time, negative 4 spaces 2 times, and negative 4 spaces 3 times. 3 times negative 4 equals negative 12. Write it down. Now for box C. This is negative 3 times 4. And as you can see, it's pronounced negative 3 times 4. So jump 4 spaces negative 3 times. We'll start with 0 times. And notice that we're facing the positive direction because we have positive 4. And this is where we need to be careful. We're not jumping 4 spaces 3 times. We're jumping 4 spaces negative 3 times. So the kangaroo won't be jumping forward. She'll be jumping backwards. Let's jump 4 spaces negative 1 time, 4 spaces negative 2 times, 4 spaces negative 3 times. Negative 3 times 4 equals negative 12. Write it down. And notice this about box C. Even though the kangaroo was facing the positive direction, she ended up in negative territory because she was jumping backwards. Last one, box D. We have negative 3 times negative 4. And it's pronounced negative 3 times negative 4. So jump negative 4 spaces negative 3 times. We'll start at 0 times. And once again, we're not jumping negative 4 spaces 3 times. We're jumping negative 4 spaces negative 3 times. So the kangaroo won't be jumping forwards, she'll be jumping backwards. Visualize where the kangaroo will end up. And here we have negative 4 spaces negative 1 time, negative 4 spaces negative 2 times, and negative 4 spaces negative 3 times. Negative 3 times negative 4 equals 12. Write it down. And notice this about box D. Even though the kangaroo was facing the negative direction, she ended up in positive territory because she was jumping backwards. So these are the answers that you should have written down for your demo. Now let's learn the one simple rule for multiplying integers. Negative and negative cancel. Write it down. And you can think of it this way. Negative and negative cancel and give you a positive. Remember, you need two negatives to cancel each other out to give you a positive.
take a look at the chart. In box A, we had a positive times a positive. So our answer was positive. Positive times positive equals positive. Here's box B. Here we have a positive times a negative. And since we don't have another negative to cancel this one out, your answer is going to be negative as well. Positive times negative equals negative. Now for box C. Here we have negative times positive. And since we don't have another negative to cancel this one out, your answer is going to be negative as well. So negative times positive equals negative. Last one, box D. Here we have a negative times a negative. And remember, negative and negative cancel to give you a positive. So negative times negative equals positive. Now let's learn the one simple rule for dividing integers. It's actually the same rule as multiplying integers. Negative and negative cancel. Write it down. Let's practice in part two. Multiply or divide. And remember, for both multiplication and division, negative and negative cancel. Let's do only column one. Positive five times positive six. Take care of the signs, it's going to be positive. Take care of the numbers, five times six gives you 30. Here's the next problem. Negative five times six. Let's take care of the signs first. We don't have another negative to cancel out this negative, so our answer will also be negative. Now take care of the numbers. Five times six equals 30. Next problem, negative five times negative six. Take care of the signs first. Negative and negative cancel, so we're going to have a positive answer. Five times six equals 30. Two more to go. Five times negative six, take care of the signs. We'll have a negative. Take care of the numbers, we have 30. So our answer here is negative 30. The last one is a division problem. Negative 30 divided by 5. Take care of the signs. We don't have another negative to cancel this one out, so our answer is going to be negative. 30 divided by 5 equals 6, so our answer is negative 6.